everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today I have my fourth and final mermaids doll, mermaids, mermaids. And I like it because they're like mermaids, but it's M-A-I-D-S. Uh, the mermaids part, mm, I don't know. Uh, so her name is, what is your name, child? These are for ages four and up, by the way. I did not say that in my last video. And this is Harmonique. So she is a pop star performer. No spotlight is enough. I guess you could do spotlights in the ocean, right? <laughs> and so she is similar. So I was talking about my other video about how I'm feeling very pink and purple today. Like just like that brightness and, and happiness, but there is a little bit of, of, of teal in her box. And I love those three colors together. The interesting thing about Harmonique is that I think she color changes in both hot and cold water because do you see this? It's red or pink and blue. Hmm. So I have gotten both hot and cold water for this color change reveal. And I am going to get her out of her packaging. I'm still not in love with this packaging. I think it was a really, I gotta say, I, I gotta give props to MGA for always trying new things in terms of packaging. So this was a pretty creative way to handle this. Uh, Cause it's very important actually when for, for doll packaging to be very boxy so that they can stack uh, on, you know, cause that's what retailers want. So you get the stackability, but you also get the like, oh, look, the tail moves. At the same time, I know that there's been like a lot of damaged tails and, and things like that. So I'm wondering if we might not see this in the next wave of mermaids, but let's get her out of the box and let's meet Harmonique. She is out of her box and I love her. First of all, I'm loving the super high ponytail. To me, it's very I Dream of Jeannie. For the modern day viewer, Ariana Grande. But uh, it is, it's, it's, it's a lot of hair, right? Just like all of the mermaids dolls, that's a good 12 inches of hair right there, right? But again, because it's done like this, it's so much more manageable than Riviera. Like I think Riviera gets, is, is getting the short end of the long hair stick because <laughs> her hair is so massive that it's hard to manage, you know? And, and, and so I think that's kind of holding, holding her back a little bit uh, in terms of, but I do love her because she's so metal. I love, 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 this face, but I love all of their faces. Again, we've got giant earrings that don't work for two reasons. One is Harmonique is a pop star, so she's got her over the head, you know, microphone so she can dance, but it ends up like being in her earring. And these two pieces just don't work together. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a mess, quite honestly. So like, yeah, the headset's gotta go. Uh, you can't wear earrings like that and this headset and make that work. So not loving it. And just in general, not loving the design of the earring, but she's very, very pretty. I love <laughs> these ridiculously long tendrils we have coming out of the front and the fact that they are hot pink while the rest of her hair is, you know, cotton candy, baby pink. Uh, love her skin tone with this pink and her super pale lips. She's got, I think, maybe the best accessories, except for the earrings and the headset. Uh, she's got this really pretty, can you tilt your head back for me, sweetie? Uh, there you go. Like choker necklace that, <laughs> that solves that problem. Uh, that, as you can see, it's sort of got that metallic multicolor look because that matches her tail. Nice touch. Her shirt is a shirt. There's no jacket. Praise Jesus, there's no jacket. So it's, again, poofy. So poofy, think waves, think coral, think jellyfish. You know, we've got the poofiness uh, and the netting. Very, very pretty. Again, the delicate hand mold. And then she's got this really cool, and it's pink, just a hot pink shirt here. Then we get into the accessory pieces here that are really cool, but again, make me question why we would put these in water. So she's got this really cool, uh, 
kind of waist cincher uh, corset belty thing going on here. Not, not sure what the technical term for that is. Wait, I have to put on my glasses. I did find pink glasses, by the way. Uh, but it's really, really cool because you see how sparkly it is? It's so cool. I'm so bummed that I have coral nails instead of pink nails, but things happen. And then she's got this like holster fanny bag, bag with these, wait, let me get your arm out of the way, with this really cool beaded necklace, you know, like, like those dog tag necklaces, those, I'm hitting her head into the microphone, those chains, you know, with the beats, love those. And then it goes down and it, and it goes around, you know, her, her fin, which is really cool. But again, once we, are, I mean, is that supposed to go in the water? How's it going to hold up if it goes in the water? But I mean, look at all of the detailing, buckles, little snappy thing, you know, that rings. It's just, it's really, really cool. Speaking of rings, look at her hand. I think she's the first one that I remember, I don't know, who has some sort of, of hand jewelry. Do you have hand jewelry, Riviera? You don't remember? No, I don't remember. Aren't you wearing a glove on one hand? Yeah, okay. So Riviera had a glove on one hand and no glove on the other hand, so she was Michael Jacksoning it. But, uh, so this is really, really cute. I wish they had done this, you know, on more of them. And then her tail is like this, uh, very holographic, even in the design of it, the angular design, you know, that prismatic effect. So that's there on her tail. And I think it's a really, really very, very pretty effect. I, I, I just, I know I keep harping on this, but we didn't need the color change. This is a gorgeous doll, right? And the tail is lovely without the color change. But then again, there's the whole issue of, could we have the tails come off and maybe we snap on some legs? I mean, when you think about like Pacific Coast, how we had, you know, removable legs and so you could snap on a different kind of leg. If there was a way to snap off the tail and snap on like a lower portion of the body, I don't know, maybe that would be cool. Not sure, not really sure if that's something that we want, but she's very, very pretty. Of course, rooted eyelashes, always a big deal to me. Beautiful cut crease, really pretty color to her eyes, beautiful soft lip. I love their faces. I love the inset eye look that's just giving us this depth. Love them, just don't love some things about them, wish they had legs. Now it's time to figure out, does she color change in both cold and hot water? Let's find out. But before we do that, let me show you her purse, which I forgot to show you. And I think the cool thing about her purse is that it's big enough probably that you could take her headset off and shove it in there. Uh, so hers is, I think, the only functional purse, I think, I think. All right, now let's go play with water. Okay, so we are going to start with the cold water because I think this is probably the best direction to go. Cold first, then warm. Funny story, while I've been filming these videos, both I've been listening to music from the 70s, both Rock the Boat and Waterloo have played while I've been making these videos, which is pretty funny. Okay, so this is cold water from my fridge. Why, yes, it is another wine bottle. I keep finding these pretty colored wine bottles. This was the one I saw first. I saw it on the side of a box. Uh, no, I saw it on the side of a truck. Derp. Okay, are you ready? Cold water from the fridge. Let's see if anything happens. I feel like I'm pouring it over her harness. Uh, cold water from the fridge. Um, I see nothing. I don't see anything happening. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I was not sure. I was not sure that that was going to work. Okay. Nope, nope, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, well thanks, that was chilling. Was that chilling? Okay, one second, let me go dump this and let's get the hot water. Okay, hopefully we will have better luck with hot water. And I wanna be clear about something. This is hot water, this is not warm water. When I do the Barbie color reveals, warm water works just fine. But I have found with these that the water needs to be more towards the hot side, not like scalding hot, just like hot bathtub hot. I'm worried that this may have cooled down a little too much, but let's give it a shot. Here we go. Coming from my Barbie pink pretty bottle. Is anything gonna happen? I 
don't see anything. I'm gonna go get hotter water. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two. This time I have ice water. Let's see, does this do anything? No, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. I don't understand why, I mean, maybe when we go back and edit it, we'll be like, oh, I see, but I see nothing. This water over here is definitely hot. Uh, like, you know, bath water hot. All right. I'm so sorry, Harmonique. Yeah, could you, you know, this is getting uncomfortable now. All right, last time, last time, here we go. Please don't melt the doll. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, but also, do you see the steam? <laughs> All right, so this poor doll, here we go. Let's pull that off. Um, yeah, that water has to be really, really hot for Harmonique to, uh, to, to make a color change. And uh, the color change, oops, I just poured it on her clothes. It becomes silver, and it, which is really cool, um, you know, but just be careful with your kids if you're doing this because that's really hot. And, uh, you know, maybe there was a happy medium in between there, not sure. So on the plus side, using nearly boiling water really helped it to stay color changed. On the negative side, that was pretty hot water to, uh, to get that color change effect. So just be careful uh, with your kids uh, and yourself if you're trying to do the color change. Um, I mean, it turns silver, which is cool. I mean, this is what she looks like with a silver tail. It's cool, it's cute, whatever. All right, let's see how well she stands up. You know what it, her, we gotta get, you gotta get your ponytail over her front arm. And she's got it. <laughs> so let me know down below what you think and what your experience has been if you have her in trying to get the color change to work. And did I miss something by seeing pink and blue on the box and thinking she did different things depending on the temperature of the water? Perhaps. It's me, so who knows? And now that we've been through all five, I realize I said four, there's five, not counting the deluxe one with the hair gel. Let me know which mermaid's doll is your favorite. I mean, I love Riviera. Kashiko is really, really beautiful. Shell Nell had that really cool tail that had that Chanel vibe. Jordy was very sporty and I love the bangs. Uh, I really think if I have to do this in order, I'm going, I think, ding, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. It is interesting that these two are so similar in color though. Like it would have been cool if they went with, although I am in my pink and purple day, right? I'm very pink and purple today. It would have been interesting if they had done maybe um, something in like a neon mermaid. Maybe neon and mermaid doesn't go together, but isn't MGA about breaking all the fashion rules? So anyway, would love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below. If you would do me a favor, I am playing Roblox because I am trying to find healthier hobbies that do not involve food. And uh, so I started a gaming channel because if I start a channel, then I will actually do it. Uh, and I'm having fun. I'm having fun being a goofball. So please check it out. It's Missy Games 55. And I'm hoping to be playing with some of my friends who are doll lovers who also play Roblox. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, also you can see and listen to Elvira and I every Monday on uh, Better Together, which I will also link down below where we talk about some mental health, emotional, pop culture, and the intersection of all of those things because we like to talk about those things. I will see you guys again real soon. Love you so much.